And here we are, dressed for the occasion, Shantakai Spring. Hey everyone, welcome back. So today, the much anticipated Shantakai Spring. As you guys know, I have not been able to wear shadow and I have not been able to film, but I did put on my full face of Shantakai. And what better than this beautiful, springy, outdoorsy, beautiful shirt. I'm so ready for spring and Shantakai is here to greet us with it. So today we're gonna take a look at the quad, the butterfly quad from Shantakai. And I also picked up the lip cheek in the shade Hisop. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep on watching. But before we go, comment, like, subscribe. Let's get to it. So I do have on my complexion, I have everything but eyes and lips. It is all Shantakai, and I will have it all referenced down below in the description box. So here is the outer packaging of the quad. This is so stunning. I'm trying not to get... And the shades. So I did have the opportunity to play with this in store at Neiman Marcus, thanks to Connie from Shantakai. So I haven't touched mine. It's in pristine shape. So we will do some swatches and we'll do a couple eye looks, one on each eye. So when you receive your packages from Shantakai, take a look at the inserts. These are beautifully put together and go into so much information and detail and it does come in multiple languages and it has some fun facts this one is pollinators contribute to one in three bites of food on our plates and as also states we believe that protecting butterflies and other pollinators is a critical part of maintaining our earth's balance with our Butterfly Eye Quartet, we're raising awareness to con conserve invertebrates and their habitat as we proudly support the Exorcist Society. So let's go ahead and get some swatches. And I will do one, two, three, four. So the quad has a shelf life of 24 months. No animal testing, fragrance free, gluten-free and vegan. So here are the swatches. And again, it's one, two, three, four. These are stunning. And this shade right here is the star of the show. It's just beautiful. And to swatch them, if you get the opportunity to swatch them before you buy, you're gonna buy. They're absolutely stunning. They're gorgeous. They're they're creamy. They don't they didn't have any fallout on the pan with the swatching, but let's see how they perform on the eye. So I'm gonna start with shade one. And I'm going to bring that right when I'm looking forward, right above the crease, since I do have hooded eyes. So there you can see shade one. And I placed that shade with my refer 13. 
Now I'm just going to slightly bring that shade right into the crease with what's left on my brush and just buff to soften off, to soften up the harsh line. Next, I'll go in with the Chantecaille Shade and Sweep. So I did clean this off, but I didn't wash it, so it looks stained, but it does not have any color coming off. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here and put this all over the lid. And it picks up so beautifully onto the brush. So there's that shade all over the lid, and that is shade three. Now I'm just going to pick up a little more and bring that into the inner corner. Next, I'm going to just turn the brush over and go into shade two. And I'm going to place this on the outer three quarters of the lid. This is so beautiful. Next, I'm going to go back in to shade three and from the inner corner, bring it on to shade two so they blend together. That is so beautiful. Next, I'm going to go back in with shade one and my refer 13 and buff this into the crease. And there you are. This is so stunning. It is beautiful. This shade. Let me see if I can, if you can see the shift and the reflex from like green to like the rose gold. It's just stunning. This is the most elegant dual chrome I have ever seen. So to take this look and just darken it up a bit, it looks flawless and beautiful, just like this. I'm going to go into shade four with my refer three and focus that in the outer V and bring it down to about the halfway point of the lower lash. I'm also going to sweep it across the lash line on the outer half. So let's move on to this eye before we finish the eyes. I'm just going to use two shades just to show the simplicity yet elegance of the palette. So I'm going to go into shade four and shade three. You don't always have to use the green, beautiful, shifty shade. We want to all the time, but we don't have to. 
So I'm just going to place this out here and bring it into the crease and buff outward. Oh, this is so pretty. This had more pigment than I thought it was going to have on its own. So what I want to try to do is go into shade three and wet it and put that all over the lid. I need to buy a travel size of the Chantecaille Rose Water because I currently have it upstairs. So I did go into the shadow and I wet it with the MAC Fix Plus. So let's go ahead and just sweep that on the lid. Well, okay. That is so beautiful. And my eye is not 100%, I apologize, but I am allowed to wear makeup. So I'm gonna dip back in and do the inner corner. What I did with the inner corner was I just like swift my brush in a circle since I did have the shade two and three on the brush on different sides. So it's mostly peach, but I did get that little bit of green shimmer that just tied it all together. So here's look one and look two. So beautiful, even with two shades. This is a beautiful, quick, let's get her done and go look and i am loving both of them and if you wanted to amp this up you can still do it with two shades and go back into the deep shade let's do that still two shades we can just run this along the lash line bring it out a little flick it out Still two shades, quick, quick and easy. So let me curl my lashes and put on mascara and we'll be back to check out the lip chic. Eyes are done. So I use the Chantecaille mascara. Here you can see. And on this eye, I use the eyeliner in Olive Brocade which is this shade here. It is a beautiful green olive. Absolutely stunning. So I put it lightly on the waterline and on the top on the outer third. And then over here, I just used the liner in the shade Nude on the waterline and the Chantecaille mascara. What do you think? I feel both are good for daytime or evening. And you can definitely amp up the lip. It's just stunning. It's beautiful. It's so elegant. Let's move on to lips. So I picked up the Lip Chic in the shade Hyssop. And I may go back and get more the other two I'm not sure why well, didn't go anywhere I had the eye situation when I wanted to pick it up and beautiful Connie so kind she was able to bill me and shipped me 
via tele via text message. So here is the shade Hisop, the lip chic. I wanted to show you the lip chic on its own and then also with a liner. So I have the Chantecaille liner in the shade Discreet. And I will show that to you here. And I feel those two will go great together. So I will show you without liner first and then we'll add some liner. It's like my lips, but better. So here's the lip chic in the shade Hisop. What do you think? I think it ties the whole look together. I'm ready to go somewhere and I'm not going anywhere. So let me wipe this off and then we'll try it with the liner. Okay, so you see, this is without anything on. It's just my lips they start off not looking this dark, but if I touch them, if I clean anything off of them, like they just get dark. So we're gonna try and see if we could see it now that they got darker, but I'm gonna start again. And this is the Chantecaille lip liner in the shade Discreet. And this is my first time trying a Shantik eyeliner. And I really like it. It doesn't tug. You don't have to you don't have to push too hard. It glides. You just can't tell because it's literally my shape my lips, but better because this is my lip shade. It is perfect. Now we gotta overline a little bit at the bottom. Why not? So here's the lip li liner on its own in the shade Discreet. So let me put the lip chic over it. There you go. I really like the formula. It's creamy. It's creamier than a lipstick. It is more sheer. So if you see here, it is more sheer. So if you like a little bit more coverage, I would suggest putting it on with a lip liner first. So let me build up this lip liner and then put the lip chic over it so you can see the difference on a bigger surface. So there you go. This is the lip chic on its own. So it definitely has pigment. However, I did get the darkest of the three shades from the spring collection. Let me know if you're interested in me picking up the other two shades and swatching those for you. But here is the Hisop on its own. And here is the Hisop over the lip liner discreet. So the discreet just gives it more pigment because the lip liner is not super creamy. I feel that as the lip chic starts to wear off, you'll still have the pigment of the liner. I don't think this is, this is my first impression. This is my first lip chic from Chantecaille. I do have a lipstick and a lip crystal but this is my first lip chic. And I do believe based off the formula that this would be a reapply type of situation. But I feel with the liner, it will fade nicely and you'll still have 
pigment on the lips. And these two shades go beautifully together. This liner and this lip chic were meant to go together. And I bought them at totally different times. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. What do you think? Did you like look one or look two better? Or both, because I like both. I will rock both all day, every day. If I was doing this look for an evening, I wouldn't do the nude liner. I do a darker liner, but you can see the difference on how wider and more awake my eye looks here versus here because of the nude liner versus the olive brocade on this side. But they both look beautiful. The lashes look great. I will say after using the mascara multiple times, it went from a mascara that I would only use on the daytime to a mascara that I would be okay using in the evening and if I wanted a, a little more oomph which I've done before I have been putting this mascara first and then going in with a more volumizing mascara just on the outer half it is beautiful it gives you the length the Chantecaille gives you the length the volumizing mascara gives you the volume and that little whoosh of lashes at the end that I really like. And I'm not sure if you can see that. There you go. Thank you, Prince. So it definitely lengthens and to get the and to get the benefits of the mascara, but get the look that I want, I'll use this and then a volumizing mascara on top of it once this has dried down so let me know what you guys think of the Chantecaille spring collection did you pick it up do you want to pick it up i did <laughs> and i might pick and i might pick up the other two lip cheeks so until next time thank you so much for coming and don't forget we're all perfectly imperfect bye